Today we are going to talk about why it is so important to stop reacting to the 3D. So, let's get into it guys. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel Simply Create with Al. And if you're new here, please go ahead, subscribe to my channel. I am here making manifesting easier for you, sharing all my tips and advice so that you can use them to create the life you have always dreamed of. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box, all information you need is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. Today we're going to talk about why we should stop reacting to the 3D. And I bet most of you have already heard something like you have to ignore your 3D reality. It's not actually about ignoring it. It's more about being unbordered by it. Okay, when you ignore something, it also gets a reaction of you and we shouldn't be reacting. We have to find a place though where we are unbordered by it, where we can see the 3D and it causes us to feel exactly nothing, okay? Because we understand, for example, that everything changes. The 3D is going to change, especially if you are living in the state of the wish fulfilled. You know, whatever is standing between me and my manifestation has to be removed. So if you keep going to your end without wondering or fearing how it's going to happen or what's going to happen and so on, or when it's going to happen, right? Um, if you keep going to your end, you know, in that end, everything has been overcome. So I don't have to worry about it. The reason why it is so important to pay attention to how we are dealing with the 3D and how we are reacting to it is because we could say everything that we do is a statement about ourselves. So basically everything is an affirmation. Everything is I am, right? And it reflects in the way you think, what you feel, what you're saying, what you're writing, what you're visualizing, how you are behaving, you know, and how you are reacting to things, right? We always talk about it. Manifestation is about becoming, becoming the person who has your desire. So you have to ask yourself, are you the person who has your desire? Is it reflecting in your thoughts, in how you are talking about things and how you are, what you're writing maybe online or to friends or how you are behaving or reacting to your reality. Is it all reflecting that you have your desire? And with that, I'm not saying you have to stop pretending that you have your desire, like pretend that you are in a relationship with your specific person or pretend that you are a millionaire. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. But what I'm saying is, if you had your desire right now, you would not be missing it. You would not be wanting it. You would not be sad or frustrated. You would not be stopping yourself from living your life and waiting for something. You would not be doing that. You would be following your bliss. You would be taking care of yourself. You have it. It is already here. It is already yours. So right now, go do your things. And, and that idea should be reflected in everything you are doing. We can sit here and discuss why we react to things. Fear, frustration, impatience, whatever it is. But when we react to things, what we affirm is we don't believe our power. We don't believe in ourselves or we don't believe in manifestation because we, if we did, we know, okay, it's showing up this way because I have created it in the past, right? But I am a new person. I'm the person who has my desire. It's going to change. My end is going to confront me someday and this all is going to disappear because in my end, there is no third party, there is no no contact, there is no poverty, there is no lack of abundance, okay? 
my end is perfect. I have my desire. This is going to confront me. That's why we have to stop reacting to whatever's going on because we are just creating more of it and we don't want that, right? So focus on what you want, what you want to experience, what you want to see projected out there. And when you encounter something that you don't like, just tell yourself, that is past. That's old news and that's going to change because in my end, everything's perfect. And as long as your inner world is reflecting your end, as long as you are, you know, everything in you is working and showing to the world, okay, this is not my reality anymore, it has to conform, then you can be sure that it will, okay? That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. We are going to talk soon. Bye, guys.